to my channel okay you guys so last week i did meal prep for the first time in a long time and i absolutely loved it because it saved me so much time i work so much so to have food that's like good and ready to go and ready to eat was just a blessing it just helped me out so much but I'm not gonna lie, it did take me a good part of the day to do my meal prep. Which was to be expected, but I don't regret it because it was so delicious and it was so convenient. But I wanna challenge myself this week and see if I can do meal prep in two hours or less. For this video, I did partner with Green Chef. I got my box over here. So let's go ahead and get into it. So what is Green Chef? Green Chef is a USDA certified organic meal kit company. They create dishes for a variety of lifestyles, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. What I like about Green Chef is that they make everything super, super easy for you. You pick your plan and you're given step-by-step -step recipe cards with pictures to show you exactly how to make the dish. All of the ingredients that you need for the meal come prepped, pre-measured and portioned. They make it easy to eat well and discover a ton of new recipes at the same time. Y'all, sometimes it takes me so long to try out a new recipe because there's so much that I have to do. Write the ingredients list down, see what I have in the fridge, get in the car, go to the store, shop for the ingredients, look up the recipe again, come back and prep and cut everything and then cook. By the time I'm done with all that, I'm exhausted. So to have chef curated dishes delivered straight to my doorstep with everything that I need to make it at home is a win-win situation for me. They offer nine recipes for you to choose from weekly with every meal plan and you can change your meal plan whenever you're ready. So I definitely recommend for you guys to check out Green Chef. If you use my link greenchef.us slash 90 keto for show and use my code 90 keto for show, that will save you $90 on your order and free shipping. Now let's go ahead and get into our meal prep. Okay guys, so we have all of our meals here with the meat that goes with each bag and then also with the recipe card. So um, I have the chicken with mushroom and caper sauce and here is our chicken here. Each meal is two servings and this is my recipe card and I love this like recipe card. I love that it's just right there, convenient for you to just go back and forth and look at. And on the back here, you can see that it has step-by-step -step instructions with all the pictures so you know exactly what you need to do at each step. It also has an estimated amount of time that it should take for each meal. So this one is the longest one and it's 35 minutes, which I feel like is not that long for a complete meal with the sides and everything included. So that's the first one. Our second one is sesame ginger beef patties. And then we have our ground beef here, nicely packaged. And then we have our recipe card. And this is what it's looking like. And this one has a cook time of 30 minutes. Pretty dang on fast to me. Cause I cook all the time and stuff be taking a while, okay? <laughs> All right, and our next one is the Mediterranean shrimp. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. And we have our shrimp here in this bag. And this is our recipe card. So this is what the meal is looking like. Girl, those shrimp are looking delicious. If you guys don't know, I love, love, love shrimp. And the estimated cook time for this is 30 minutes. So it has like the net carbs. It also has the um, calories per serving. And I just love that. It's the keto, paleo, gluten-free menu. And I didn't look at the net carbs for all of them. So the first one is nine net carbs. The second is 20 net carbs. And then this one is 14 net carbs. So I love that it has everything there for you. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to open up the biggest one so we can kind of just see what's going on here. 
So we already got our chicken breast. Hold on, I need my other hand. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all, I love this. So I just got everything out of this bag and it has the vegetable broth and lemon garlic. Has it nicely packaged. We got our lemon vinaigrette with cumin and herbs. We have our capers, radish, veggies, and then we have some mushrooms here and then it looks like some sunflower seeds so remember i was telling you guys i really need to just like expand my horizons try different foods you know every time i go to the grocery store i'm always getting the same stuff okay i'm always getting the same stuff and then just kind of switching up the recipe so i'm really excited for this so i can just try some different things you never know until you try it to see if you would actually like it and that is my mentality right now like i need to try new things get out there and try something different from my norm okay so i'm gonna go ahead and open up the rest of these so we can take a look and see what um the ingredients look like for each one and then we're gonna go ahead and get to cooking Hey guys so the time now is about 5 20 so I told myself I'm gonna give myself an extra 20 minutes just for the sake of filming because you know I have to film portions and that takes away from my time so I think that's fair so we're gonna be starting at 5 20 I'm gonna start with this first recipe um, which is the chicken and mushroom with the caper sauce and yeah um, and I'm starting with this one first because it's like five minutes longer than the rest of them. So let's go ahead and get started.
Hey you guys, so the first part of our meal is done and when I tell you that this vinaigrette smells so good, it smells so good. I cannot wait to taste this. I feel like it's just going to have the best taste. So yeah, this smells amazing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into our next portion, which is the chicken. Okay, you guys. 
guys so here is our first meal oh my god i'm proud of myself i feel like i'm a chef for something <laughs> this looks so good and like gourmet and something you would see like in a restaurant or something like sis i'm happy <laughs> okay you guys so i really underestimated my time because it is 6.45 now, so I have a little less than an hour to make the other two meals. I underestimated my time because filming takes a lot longer than an extra 20 minutes. I was over there playing myself, okay? So if I had to judge, I would say the recipe card is on point. It did take about 35 minutes for everything, but it probably took me another 30 minutes to try to get, you know, my camera set up, change the angle, put it on the tripod do all this stuff so yeah you guys i don't know if i'm and then i'm talking and you know all that different stuff comes into you know a factor of me being able to get it done in two hours or so but i'm gonna try to hurry up and go to the next meal but what i'm planning on doing is plating it up first like this giving it a taste right when it's hot so you guys know what i feel about it and then I'll put it in my meal prep containers later. So let me go ahead and give this a taste test. Okay, so first let's go for the salad. Get some radish in there. Mmm, okay. It has a really, it's almost like, what is the dressing? Is it lemon? It has a roll. What is it? Vinaigrette. Oh, lemon vinaigrette with cumin and herbs. So you do, you definitely do taste the lemon in there. But I like it. I'm not used to eating kale that often. And I know it's a superfood and that I should be eating it more. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. Now let's go ahead and get into this chicken when i say this chicken is juicy okay and normally i don't really do a whole bunch of chicken breasts like unless i'm doing strips or something like that but because sometimes it'll be dry but this chicken was not dry sis at all so this is what it's looking like mm. oh my god yum Mm. I never had capers before. I like it a lot. Mmm. You know, ever since I became an adult, I love mushrooms. <laughs> At first, I was just, I, when I was a kid, I used to be like, ew, I hate mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. It seemed like, you know, when you get older, it's like your taste buds change. As soon as I got older, I'm like, mushrooms is good. Like, you season them up, put some butter on it, and call it a day. Sis, very, very good. I like this, and it's not dry. That's what I like mostly about this. That it's dry. It has a lot of flavor, and it's not dry. And I feel like the kale salad balances just everything out. It's really good for you, and it has like a light lemon taste. So yes, you guys, this is the first meal. So let's go ahead and get into our second meal.
guys so this is my finished meal this is the sesame ginger beef patties and i just want to let you guys know the time now is about 7 43 so my time is pretty much up <laughs> and i finished two full meals so i finished this like exactly at 7 40. so i know that both of these did not take an hour each so i'm just gonna go with the time that it says on the card it's just i'm cleaning in between time washing dishes as you know when you make one meal you have a lot of dishes so i didn't want to have three meals worth of dishes so in between i've been washing dishes i've been washing out pans going back and forth um filming so yeah so I'll do a little adjustment at the end. I think I spoke a little too soon in the beginning. <laughs> so yes, you guys, this is what it's looking like. I'm also starting to lose light. So I think the third meal, I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a couple snippets of that and then show you the end product and taste it for you guys. So let's see. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. One thing I can say is that it smells so good. That ginger sesame smell smells bomb this is what it's looking like mm. this is giving me a full like oh my gosh it is so good it's like a asian i don't know what i want to say this Asian inspired mm. no, I'm not playing with you this is good I like the veggies mm -mm. I'm gonna have to try that because I've never tried um, sesame seed oil that is good and that tastes like restaurant like when you go to the rest that is very very good that's P.F. Changish. You understand? I like that a lot. Okay, now our burgers. The only thing that I have to say about my burgers. Let me turn on my kitchen light. Hold on. Okay, you guys. So I turned on my light so we can see a little bit better. Now on to our patties. Um, I drizzled a little bit of that sesame amino sauce on top. So that's what you see here. Um, I didn't show it on the video, but basically you just add... Um, once you take out the patties, you put the sauce in there, you let it simmer for like one to two minutes, and then you pour it on top. I didn't pour all of it on there. I just poured enough for right now just to taste it. And yeah, veggies are good, so I'm going to taste a little corner of this. Now, the only thing I do have to say about this is that it was pretty hard to keep these together. And I don't know if it was because of the marinade, but they wanted to break apart. But the only good thing about that is that I can say that they'll probably be very tender on the inside and really juicy because girl, they kept wanting to break. Yeah. Mm. See, the problem is it's too different. I like it. I like different. <laughs> this is something I would never put together or do, but this is giving me so many ideas of stuff that I want to try for myself and helping me to think outside the box. See, this is how chefs think. I need to be Chef Tiff. Start thinking like a chef. You understand? I like this too. I really, really do. The flavors are very, it's very flavorful. I will say that. It's very flavorful. And if you want, you know, you could tweak it a little bit more by adding more salt, more pepper, maybe a little garlic powder, you know, just to suit your needs. This is something that I would never think to put together, and I really do like it.
here is my last meal the time now is a little bit past 8 45 so i went a little more than an hour over what i over my goal which like i said considering all the things that i had to do film and all of that wash dishes yeah i can see why i had an extra hour in there i would say Mm, I would say if I had to guess about two and a half hours, which I still think is great for a week's worth of meals. Because remember, each one of these meals are two servings. So that's how I'm going to split them up in my um, meal prep containers. And yeah, so that's six days worth of meals, a little bit less than a week. And it took me probably about two and a half hours to make all of it so looking at it that way man like a week's worth of meals in two and a half hours i'll take that okay so yeah this is the mediterranean shrimp with the sun dried tomatoes y'all this smells so freaking good and then this is zucchini there's some olives and onions in there girl that shallot i've never used a shallot which is that like onion girl is so strong okay and potent it was like man i was crying like a baby okay i was like oh this some some flavor up in here so it better taste good so let's go ahead and give it a taste test okay let's start with our zucchini you know why did that almost taste like meat <laughs> I don't know why. Hold on. Mm. Y'all, I don't even eat zucchini like that. And this is pretty dang on good. The veggies is what's surprising me because. I normally don't have my veggies like this and I didn't know if I would like it, but a hundred percent it surprised me. I really do like the taste. So this is shrimp with sun-dried tomatoes. I've never had sun-dried tomatoes either. Y'all already know I like shrimp, but I really don't care for tomatoes. You don't really see me using tomatoes much. But this sun-dried option might be it for me. Because it's giving it some flavor. Mmm. But it's not tasting tomato-y, which I don't like. Unless it's like in a marinara or something like that. Y'all. Mm. Green Chef did that. And it had me feeling like a chef. Okay. <laughs> I am very pleased. I am very, very pleased, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in my meal prep containers. Um, I was going to... I bought some from Amazon that I was going to show you guys, but at this point I'm ready to eat and I don't feel like washing those ones out and drying them and doing all that. Girl, I'm ready to eat some of this food and I'm probably going to eat this shrimp first because it's nice and hot and that's what I'm going to have for dinner. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and plate the rest of it up, show you guys what it looks like in the milk containers and then yeah. my finished meals inside of the meal prep containers 
Um, so I have a smaller one here. I was able to fit um, one of the chicken breasts plus the stir fry inside of this one. And then the same here for my other chicken breast with the mushrooms and capers and my stir fry. Now, I didn't want to put my burger and my salad together because when it's time to microwave it, I would just rather microwave the patties and then just add my salad. So I'm going to just keep this inside of the fridge and yeah, put in one patty in the microwave at a time, of course. So this would count as two meals. And then here I have half of my shrimp and half of my zucchini. And then I left the other half on the plate because that's what I'll be having for dinner tonight. And then um, I'll have that for dinner. And then I'm probably going to um, end tonight with like a homemade mug cake. I found a new recipe, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I've been having it. And... I have still been losing weights because I was thinking like, oh, if I have a mud cake every night because I had it two nights in a row. And I was like, dang, if I have it like every night when I still lose weight and girl, it's, it's been doing OK. So, yeah, I'm, I'll probably make one of those just as a little treat for tonight. And then I'll show you guys how to make that um, in a separate video because, girl, I'm ready to watch my show. I started Queen of the South, you guys. I started Queen of the South. Um, on Netflix and it's pretty good it's pretty good so far I watched probably like five episodes so I'm looking at your suggestions from one of my previous videos and I'm kind of going down the line I watched Jeannie and Georgia I really like that show so if you have Netflix maybe um, try that one out and see if you like it but yes you guys here is my meal prep <music> Okay, you guys and that concludes my meal prep video i hope that you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up make sure you guys check out green chef and use my link and code for 90 dollars off of your order i will have the link and the code in the description box below for you guys and until my next video have a blessed day have a blessed week and i'll see you in my next one bye